Thousands packed the Staples Center in Los Angeles to remember basketball legend Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, and seven others who died in that helicopter crash last month. It was an emotional and at times joyful oh. celebration of life. Alexandria Hoff joins us with more on today's moving tribute. Alex? Well, you're right. Of course, there were moments of joy today and of laughter. After all, this was a celebration of life. And yet, it was clear that the word celebration can only go so far when speaking about a father and daughter together in past tense. It was the Staples Center in Los Angeles, where Kobe Bryant spent 20 seasons as a Laker, that the house that Kobe built became a home. In the darkest night hour. Beyonce opened the ceremony celebrating the life of Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter Gianna, who were killed last month, along with seven others in a Calabasas, California helicopter crash. Kobe was my dear friend. He was like a little brother. He was someone to everyone in the room of 20,000. To Bryant's widow and Gianna's mom, Vanessa, they represent the best of life and now the largest void. You take care of our Gigi. And I got Nani, Bibi, and Coco. We're still the best team. We love and miss you, Boo Boo and Gigi. Alicia Keys also played in tribute. Ave Maria was sung by Christina Aguilera. On the big screen, mementos of Bryant's achievements and his childhood were shared, including his time at Lower Marion High School. In our region, strangers who had watched the memorial on TV stopped by Larry's Stakes in Winfield and one booth in particular. It was one of Bryant's favorite spots. And he always sat facing out and we used to smile because he always said, I want to see what's in front of me. Now, Vanessa Bryant added today that she never really saw her husband of almost 20 years as a celebrity or even a basketball player. To her, he was an MVD or most valuable dad. Sending it back to you guys. All right, Alex, thank you so much.